Right, there is Evan Ma Evolution Athletics, Keegan Hornstra. Evolution Athletics 2-0 so far on the night. Let's see if they can continue this winning habits here in the main event. Now, Keegan Hornstra, a 4-11 pro MMA record, 1-0 Muay Thai, 3-5 amateur MMA. Keegan's 37 years old, but he's in phenomenal shape. Talked to him at length this morning, talked to his wife at the hotel, uh, they've been training so hard, and Keegan's been really preparing for this. His mind's in the right place. He looks good, he looks comfortable. But let's see how he responds against Sean Schubert, night. our champion. Right here in the auditorium, the media night.
Sean Schubert entering the ring now. Sean Schubert's probably one of the craziest dudes in the U.S. <laughs> Northeast. These guys have like two different personalities. It's gonna, it's gonna be an interesting clash. Um, the face off, the stare down yesterday was intense. Keegan said there's no fear here. He's ready to die in there. That's literally what he said. Schubert and Hornstra. Hornstra, both wearing black trunks. Schubert out of the red corner, red tape on his gloves, the blue tape on the gloves of Keegan. Hornstra. This is our main event, guys. Five three minute rounds. It's been a hell of a night of fights, and it's a great way to end with these two guys. Here we go, let's see how All it right. starts. The main event is underway, folks, and nothing matches the tension of a world title fight main event. Here we are scheduled for five three minute rounds. Now this is a Muay Thai fight, but they're using the small gloves. So they look like MMA gloves, but this is actually a Thai fight. So no grappling in this fight. Feeling out process to start, of course. Jab attempt by Hornsher comes up short. Schubert looking for his opening. Schubert kind of likes to make it a dirty fight a little bit. Close the distance. Schubert complaining of a potential groin strike, but not enough for the ref to, to feel that he needed to stop it. Not enough for Sean to not be able to continue. One thing about Schubert is he has three big scars on his face. One on his forehead, one on his nose, and one under his right eye. Let's see if that plays a factor if Keegan can Oh, low kick. That one sent my testicle up into my stomach here, folks. I mean, it was inside kick. He'll be okay. He gets five minutes. Now, those cuts you were talking about opened up in Battle of Barry 8. Ben and I both sprayed with Sean Schubert's blood right across our table here ringside. So, hopefully we don't repeat that part of last time. But We'll see, those cuts are prone to opening up. No more kids for Keegan Hornstra after that strike. He's got the one here with him. Klaus hoping his father can take home a world title. Put that on the mantle. He'll be okay. Again, he gets five minutes, folks out there watching. Any foul, including an eye poke or a low blow, you can get five minutes to recover. He seems all right. All right, here we go. Schubert and Hornstra, brief pause in the action. They're back at it. One, two from Hornstra. Schubert trying to find a way in. Hornstra's doing a good job with his distance. Their defensive moves are excellent. Bobbin, weave in, in and out. Schubert yet to unload. Hornstra doing a good job with his footwork. Folks, fighting is not two guys coming together and throwing punches. It's mostly how you control your feet. And everything flows. And you create angles. See, and this is a completely different version of Keegan Hornster that we're seeing now because he's actually able to get more than three strikes off without the fight ending. Great right hand by Keegan. Another one, two. Sean has a great chin, though. Concerned about potentially the conditioning of Keegan Hornstra. We had this event postponed three weeks, and he said he had a moment where he got a little lethargic there. Ten seconds. Another, one. Another low blow. Hornstra, maybe a little. Oh, that said, are you kidding? Me? Right. Like, he looked at me like he did not feel about this situation. We're getting some opinions from the audience over here. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock here, so people have had quite a few drinks. <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody that steps in this cage is scared, so. Man, the redness on the left side of the body of Sean Schubert. Really One, starting. two by Keegan. It's the end of the first round. Definitely yeah. feeling the effects of those groin strikes is Hornster. Like I said, I don't believe there'll be any more children in the Hornster family. It was a pro match, so I believe we go five rounds with this Muay Thai pro match. You gotta wonder, too, with those groin strikes, the second sooner than he should have. Joe, have you been in that situation? I know exactly what you're talking about, as in you feel the atmosphere, the environment, as in I'm legitimately hurt, I need to recover, but I jump the gun and say I'm good when I'm really not. They have five minutes for a reason, but you rarely see all those five minutes being used. And he took about what? 
minute and a half first time around. I think about two a minute total. Six. Yeah. But I think I think Keegan did enough to win that round. Still I just, not feeling it. You I wouldn't, saw that. Right? I wouldn't like to think that there'd be a built-in excuse, but I can't see that happening with Keegan. He's he's trained too hard for this. Now let's Schubert really couldn't get any momentum. You see the redness on Schubert's body. From no, the right body it, kicks. They kind of nullified each other almost because this is a it wasn't a round that we're used to seeing on either one of these Whoa. guys. Step in elbow, Here we go. Actually got to tune up now. Yeah. I felt like they were really feeling each other out that first round, and now they're really letting it go. So Will, we haven't seen the spinning back fist bet uh, from uh, from Schubert because he likes that technique. Let's see how he sets it up. Keegan with a one, two, three. Keegan likes to switch stances. Look at that. Back and forth quite a few times. I don't know if he's doing it. Oh! 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 Uppercut by, wait, wait, wait. It's Get over. It. Keegan Hornstra. Wow. Absolutely insane. Keegan Hornstra put Sean Schubert to sleep. Man, we never thought we'd see that. Unbelievable knockout. knockout. Look at the replay. We're watching the replay now. Oh! Just killed that uppercut. What the an amazing knockout. Championship. Well, that's knockout of the night, and we have a new champion, Will. Absolutely. Sean Schubert's still recovering. Here we go back to the replay again. We're going to watch for that uppercut. And there it is. Boy, just knocked out cold. I don't know that that has ever happened at a battle in Barry that we've had a knockout that decisive. They've turned the lights on here in the auditorium, hopefully to keep people from getting too excited. Yeah, lights on after Schubert's lights go out. What yeah. a crazy, crazy knockout. Folks, Hornstra did a great job in the first round. He got kicked low a few times, but Schubert just could never really find any momentum, any rhythm. Any connection, any significant strikes. They brought a chair into the ring so that Schubert can have a seat, try to recover there. You can see Keegan Hornstra relaxing in the corner, waiting for Sean Schubert to recompose himself. Here we go back to the replay. We'll watch that. Oh, oh that, that, left that, hook, right uppercut. It's a common combination. Left, three, six. And that uppercut just slipped right in there. It's a perfect shot. That was an absolutely perfect shot. Perfect shot. Sean His legs Schubert, still aren't there. His legs still are not back. He's standing, though, so that's at least a good step in the right direction. Now, look, Keegan told me he has some stuff to say after the fight. So we might have uh, some material to work with right here. A lot of, a lot of people in the All crowd. Right, He worked hard for it. He earned it, folks. Let's go to the decision. Man, I said in the buildup it was going to take a gun to take him out. You weren't going to, nobody was going to be able to finish this man. He's that tough. Do you have a concealed carry permit for this, my friend? All right, so man, we talked about what this title would mean to you if you got the win tonight. Here you are with that around your waist. I got the honor of belting you up. Sorry, you're good. Can you tell me how you feel now? This, if you guys have followed my career, there have been a lot of ups and downs. 
there, there was no Muay Thai when I started. I started off as a striker, but there was no nowhere to go to really do striking. So I switched over to MMA and ruined my confidence. I never really fell in love with it. I just did it because I fucking loved the fight. But if they let me keep put, putting these fucking things on, I'll knock everybody out. You're now the reigning defending lightweight champ, the second small glove world title holder here in the United States. Very short list in the world, man. You've officially made history. Give Klaus another reason to be proud of his father. Where is that boy? Get him over here. Seeing your journey, seeing everything you've been through, you're an incredible father, an incredible parent. Everything you do, man, you do at the highest level. When can we see you back in here to do these things at the high level you do? I got three guys. I got three guys that I want to call out. One, just because he's total human garbage, Carl Langston. I'll fight that kid in whatever fucking way he wants to fight me at. And under any rule set, I'll fight him at. Number two. Moe's going to fight him next week or three weeks from now. Peter Bear. If Peter Bear wants to try these fucking things on and get in here with me, 100% I'll knock that fucking guy out. He's a real piece of shit. Worst one of all, Juice Freudington. Fighting out the fucking Bang War Bang, pulling needles out of that. ass. That kid's been cheating for fucking years. He failed piss tests for the main commission, and they never fucking followed it up. He's been cheating for years. Come on down to Vermont, catch that ass whooping, boy. The champ has called his shot, man. Before we wrap things up and send everybody home with a knockout of the night, in my opinion. And what do you think, man? Is that a knockout of the night, Joe? So you officially been given knockout of the night here, champ. Man. How do you feel about this? Let's let you take it home. Give us some five thoughts to the fans. Thanks to all the fans for coming out. Without you guys supporting this kind of stuff, we don't have the opportunity to perform. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you to my opponent. Thank you to his team. They're fucking stand-up guys. There's a lot of animosity leading up to a fight. You're gonna try and fucking kill each other. I talk some shit tonight about other guys that are genuine pieces of shit. These guys are not them. I've been following Sean as coach. I don't know Sean Schubert as well as I know Sean, but I've been following him since he was fucking cornering Ralph Johnson back at Club Lido, dude. It, they're they're stand-up guys. I know he'll be back. He is an absolutely incredible athlete. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your winner in new small glove lightweight world champ, Keegan Ornstrom. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to cap off the night. Battle of Barry 9. The belt has changed hands. Keegan Hornstra breaking through, delivering one of the best, probably the best moment of his fighting career. Um, and a great scene now with his family, his teammates. Each one of them won tonight as well. Evolution Athletics, big night for them. Will, looking back, man. Pretty what good a, fights, what do you think? What a great fight card. Both those fighters ending that on their knees, bowing to each other. You might not have seen that on the video. A lot of respect there between fighters. That's one of the things I love about the fight industry. Yeah, we, we, saw, we saw a little bit of everything tonight. We had submissions, we had a great knockout, of course. We had some TKOs, wrestling, Muay Thai skills. So many people, that's a blessing to me. Yeah, I took too many L's, but they lessons to me. Thought I told y'all that it's my world. They ain't try me yet. Get your mind blown. When they throw shade, that's when I glow. I'm so ahead of y'all, that's a different time zone.